This is Tana Taraja. Located in the heart of Sulawesi, Indonesia, Tana Taraja is known for its traditional architecture, breathtaking scenery, and unique death rituals. We're heading to Monolith today uh, by ourselves. Here, we gotta buy some gas. Oh! It just brought over a bunch of rice, but it looks like grass. And that boy over there, he's dragging it to give to the other people to plant. So these are the monoliths. They're used as kind of like gravestones. When someone dies, someone rich dies to get a monolith. This water buffalo is just chilling under all those horns of its dead car. Looks like there's a bunch of construction going on up there. They're making cement. We made it to the cave and it's crazy. There's no one here. Feels like we shouldn't be here. This place is really spooky. Very cool though. Yeah, this cave is actually massive and there's still skulls like just everywhere. A skull like right behind me. I don't think there's much down there, but I'm kind of curious, so I wanna keep going. So I made it to the innermost part of the cave. Oh, he's over there. All right, this cave goes way deeper than I thought. Is just steep drop off into there. Cave continues. I think I, I'm done. What my position looks like sitting on a rock. Actually, I was wrong. I was able to get even further in. God, it seems like you can just keep going. Oh, so dirty now. Yeah, I'm just like in a hole now. There's absolutely nothing if I turn off the light. Eric has finally come back. Oh my god, that was, that was wild. Completely was very muddied. Fun. Very dirty. And he brought the backpack. Okay, I survived. I'm so dirty. Look at the backpack. The backpack is dirty too. Just finished. It's been like two hours or something because of my excursion. Somehow, I didn't notice this earlier, but this bamboo is hovering. It's just hovering. I think it's because it's like suspended. I'm not hungry, but we're gonna just have to hold it. Here we are, the ticket office for the next place. We're buying some snacks, maybe. Just bought some stuff from these kids. Apparently there are a hundred megaliths. These massive stones all around this area. What is this? These behind me are where the bodies are buried. Wow. Because they can't touch the body of the ground, so they usually put them in caves and stuff. So that's what these are. And they have like pictures of the people who died hanging. We got lost for a bit, but we found the baby grave. You can't really see the lumps, but you can see where they patched it up. Okay, they did not lie when they said it was 200, because this is a lot of buffalo horns. Animals are always very sad to see. It, Look at the space it's it in. It peed for like five minutes and then it laid down. I'm gonna kick this bamboo and it's gonna fall. Yeah, look at that. A bunch of graves. That's pretty cool. We came here for the megalith, but we didn't really spend much time on that. All right, back on the road. A buffalo farm, or maybe an arena or something. So we made it to our third attraction, the village. We decided to do some soup. <laughs> We're gonna eat on one of these. Spicy looking. Wow, the nose is really. Oh, look at how stretchy that nose is. Oh my god. Look at all the horns and the bones. They really love slaughtering water. This is a dead pig. Yeah, you can definitely tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm 
Where are we? This is cool. Oh my god. They're crazy. These things? This is an outdoor karate lesson here. Taekwondo. Taekwondo. I'm ordering this for 10000 Just less than a dollar, by the way. <laughs> Stapled our shit. Peanut sauce. Peanut sauce. Oh, okay. It's not spicy. <laughs> but once the camera comes out, they stop being as crazy. Oh, so we just realized that one of these are traffic circle. Are you gonna release it? No, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's too small. Too small. Oh. Oh. This is the fish. It's so big and round. Look at all that food. They made a grilled fish. Yeah, thank you. Nicely grilled.